Nine months to Reggae Marathon 2018. Good afternoon. I can hardly believe it myself that we're looking down at nine months to go until we meet up again in the grill um, for just, again, the most fabulous race experience that I can think of, the Reggae Marathon race weekend um, in, in the grill. Uh, this year, as you know, we are running on Sunday, December the 2nd. So the race weekend experience actually begins on Friday, November the 30th. Okay? So Friday, November the 30th is the start of the on-site registration uh, in the grill at uh, Couple Swept Away Sporting Complex. It's also where you can uh, pick up your race kit as well. So you can do that starting Friday. On Saturday, December the 1st, also available is on-site registration at Couple Swept Away as well as race kit pickup. And Saturday night this year, uh, under the stars, under the beautiful sky in, uh, in the grill, we're going to be having our Reggae Marathon pasta party. The world's best pasta party is what I've heard a lot of people call it, but um, um, it's definitely called the pasta party Reggae Marathon. We'll have that Saturday night. Then on Saturday, uh, Sunday morning, things do climax with uh, the running of the three events that we've got at Reggae Marathon. The full marathon, the half marathon, and of course the 10K. We start on mass at 5.15 a.m., different location than where we picked up the race kits, about a half a, um, a kilometer uh, east of Couple Swept Away Sporting Complex is Long Bay Beach Park. And that's where we'll be starting from, as we always do uh, when we run uh, the Reggae Marathon events. 5.15 a.m., torchlight start. Race Director Frano sends us underway promptly at 5.15 a.m. But what I wanted to talk about today, a couple of questions we've received recently, uh, and they're great questions, so thank you for sending them in, uh, have to do with um, hydration uh, and electrolyte replacement and what we have at Reggae Marathon. And then the big question, the question I get asked all the time is, how hot is it really in the grill at Reggae Marathon? And folks, we can fool around. Unless you're born on the island, unless you live on the island, and unless you run regularly on the island, you're going to find it warmer um, than where you come from. Okay, so expect that you're going to have a warm weather run. And hey, but that's why you're in the grill, right? That's why we're all there. We want to have the opportunity of running uh, in, in a warmer climate as well as um, having a beach vacation. So take advantage of that uh, for, um, um, for the best experience that you could possibly have. So I've run the full marathon myself, and the, uh, the advice I'm going to share with you today is the same today as it was when I ran it uh, in terms of how to get through it, you know, the, the, the best way possible as far as I'm concerned. What you really want to do is to wear um, the least amount of gear as you possibly can get away with. So a singlet for the guys uh, and, and you girls as well. Um, and shorts for sure because it is warmer. Um, you also want to uh, make sure that you have um, um, sun coverage, right? So the SPF coverage from a, from a sunscreen. Wear the highest you can. Get the waterproof, uh, get the water resistant, the sports type um, um, sunscreen because you're going to need that as the sun does come up a little bit later in the, mor um, in the morning. Be liberal with the application as well. Don't, don't be stingy on this. You're going, to, you know, you're going to want to make sure that you're feeling good and covered as you get through the morning. Wear a hat. I can't stress that enough. Make sure you wear a hat. You want to want to get uh, to keep your head covered uh, through the morning when the sun does come up. What I did as well was I wore a bandana. I had a scarf around my neck, and what I did was I kept the back of my neck and my head, um, you know, covered, and then I also put water on that, the back of my neck as well, and that really got me through it. It made me feel cooler. Uh, and of course, there's some medical science that will suggest that if you keep the back of your neck cool. Um, it does help with reducing the effects of, uh, of the heat. Um, I use the plastic pouches of water that we give out at Reggae Marathon, these little squeeze packs of water to, to, you know, to squeeze over my head and squeeze at the back of my neck. Also recommend that you plan to stop at each and every aid station. Now I know when you start first, you're not going to want to you know, break your stride and, and, and stop. But remember, you're running 26 miles, so if you're a mid-pack runner like I am, take advantage of the fact that you've got a couple of minutes at every aid station just to, to, to grab your breath again, to, to, to bring your breathing uh, down, your heart rate down. Take in the water properly and then keep going. Now you also might want to grab an extra pack, a little extra pouch of water. So that mid-station, you can use that to, uh, to drink and or squeeze on your head as well. Plan to run slower. It is warmer, right? So you are, and you know what, you should really expect to run slower. Because as we know, the heat does affect the pacing. Um, it does affect your body in, in, in very significant ways. So do plan to run uh, slower, accept that fact, and hey, you're here in the grill to, to enjoy a, a good time with your friends as well as to run a race. So take advantage of that and make sure that um, um, you, know, you, you, you respect the heat. 
if you do have any distress, okay, we want you to run safe. We want you to finish. We want you to have a good time in Jamaica, have a good experience. Um, don't be a hero. Seek out medical attention at any of our aid stations or any of the volunteers you see along the way. Just say, hey, listen, I'm having some, some challenges today. Um, have them check you out right away so that you don't get anything, um, you know, nothing goes, um, nothing goes awry. So that's basically it. Head covered, sunscreen, water, hydration. Make sure you're taking in fluids at each and every station. And that leads to the second um, question that we got asked this last couple of weeks, and that is, what exactly is the highlight product that we give out at uh, Reggae Marathon? Well, if you're familiar with Gatorade or Powerade, it's a, it's a similar formulation to that. It's an isotonic sports drink. And what it's really meant to do is to replace some of the electrolytes you might lose while sweating. So when you combine them, right, here you have a warmer race. You're probably going to sweat a bit more than you do back home. So taking in the highlight at, um, at every aid station or before as well, and certainly after, um, will help you get through the race. So that's what highlight is, a homegrown version of an electrolyte sports drink. So to conclude, let me, let me repeat. Respect the heat. Take advantage of hydration before, during, and after uh, your regular marathon experience. We want to see you in the grill. We want to see you safe. Now, next month, we're going to continue this, of course, give you some more updates uh, on, on registration and any new information that we've got to share with you with regards to Reggae Marathon. So, again, look out for us uh, next week. In the meantime, keep running.